Hey guys, Andy here from my new place. Uh, Monday morning, tomorrow morning, they're coming to hook up my internet, so I'll be able to upload videos. I'm way behind on them right now. And I see everybody else doing these everyday carry dump, dump your bag, along with uh, what you carry on you. So I laid everything out because I'm sorting everything since I just moved. I emptied my backpack, emptied my pockets, and I'm going to show you what I've been carrying with me every day for, I couldn't say how long, except for a couple of items have uh, just been added recently. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's my backpack. I've had a few rough weeks lately, so not everything is in here that normally is in here but I'll explain that in a minute it's a freaking twenty twenty five dollar backpack from Walmart that I've had for probably going on two years and this is kind of my refined kit that I carry with me every day for the most part I've got cordage paracord actually two of those are an extra pair of shoelaces from a pair of boots that I wore out and the laces were still good so I kept them I always carry at least one spork, usually I've got two, a spork and a spoon. Here's a more knife that my brother made a leather neck case for me. A couple of other more knives, stainless steel that I use for food. That's uh, the one in the neck, kni neck knife is uh, high carbon. I have a cheap battery pack that I got off of Amazon for, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks or something. Mashi. I've got another one I got mixed up over here too, Unifun. This is the Rav Power one that broke on me and they replaced it brand new for free. The other one is one from Walgreens. Just a rechargeable one. It's got a built-in cord. 3200 milliamp hour. And then these flashlights. Through night flashlights. These are the uh, TN12 20, 2016 model. I love them. I've got two batteries charging right now. Actually, they're both charged. Or just finished charging. I've got two here that I keep in these tubes to keep them protected. And I think I'm going to get some more tubes for these. I have a battery in this flashlight. And down here in the other row, my everyday carry flashlight, which is another through night TN. 12 2016 exact same model this one's in my everyday carry bag this one is on my person so I've got six batteries here I had eight one of them went bad I barely even used it and the battery just I guess it shorted out internally but uh, there I've got one battery that I haven't been able to find but I've got two chargers I took them out of the case there because I was having problems testing cords which brings me to the cords I've got a bunch of cords I've always got this double output charger the one up there which is a double output charger and then my phone charger which is a fast charging to charge my phone really fast and then I've always got extra cables in that bag and this this is all in the backpack and then I have this is my uh, night vision camera and I always have the camera that I'm carrying but it's usually in my jacket pocket uh, in the last few weeks, I've been wanting to do some carving, and I just haven't got around to it. I've, this is my spoon knife, hook knife, if you want to say. This is a uh, exacto knife set that my brother got me that I just dropped a few minutes ago, and everything's mixed up. But it's got curved blades, V-blades, straight blades. I mean, these are like gouging, flat. That's curved. There's this one down here is curved. There's a little saw. These, and these are like hook knives or spoon knives or I mean, you got round two sizes and then triangular and, and square. So they're all mixed up. Like I said, I dropped it. But yeah, that's been, both of those have been in my backpack lately just because I've been wanting to do some carving and I haven't done it. Okay, which brings me to the next row. Alcohol for my alcohol stove. I've actually been carrying this in my backpack for a couple of months now. 
been carrying a Trangia alcohol stove for heh, probably two years or three but an alcohol and then they, I fill up these bottles but I was in a hurry the other day to get to work to cook at work with my stove and I uh, just grabbed this bottle and took it with me and another thing that's in my in my Jeep right now sitting in the front seat that I usually have stored in the back here is my my support aluminum pieces my support that I made it years ago gosh back in uh, 2003 or 2004 I made that triangular sp support at work and uh, that's sitting in my Jeep seat just I took it out of my pack I was using it the other day and then I usually have okay these are this is the battery for the phone or the camera that I'm using it's the only one only spare that I have I have the two batteries these four are for the night vision camera there's one on the night vision camera this is a charger that I can plug into the wall and uh, there's a power pack that will run off it too but what's the difference you still need the, the wall outlet and then I just happen to have a GoPro battery and the skeleton case in there because a lot of times I carry the GoPro this is my soldering iron and some extra solder there's also some solder wrapped on there it's butane and I've already went through the wires a uh, set of earbuds multiple lighters dental floss and then my pelican case uh, SD card holder which also holds micro SDs underneath most of the yeah most of my adapter cards have the micro SDs inside but holds normal normal SDs and then on this side it holds the other ones I can't remember the name I've got one of them I just found it unpacking today so and it's pelican case it's waterproof and that's I always carry that so that's what I have in my backpack it's everything that I have in my backpack the second flashlight I keep on my person I actually hang it from my shirt at work all the time here's what I carry in my pockets I have flint and steel I have uh, a rock that you can see there it had a, a kind of a divot in it going across that way that uh, I thought would be good for a bearing block I tried it out a couple times it wasn't too bad but tonight I actually took it to work well I always, I've always got it on me tonight I went to the tool room guy and asked him if there was a way I could make it a better a better hole and he gave me a diamond tipped grinding wheel or whatever a little like a Dremel tool and I ground a hole in it so that works great giant ferro rod half inch by five inch a mag bar these I use pretty much every night they're a pair of snap-on multi-tool miniature pair that a friend got me ex-girlfriend got me <laughs> years ago here's another little multi-tool that I run from one from ferro in California Allen in a contest uh, nail clippers always have them I mean change money here's the keys that I carry on my side every day it's got my toolbox keys my PO box key my my slot machine key that where was my dad's slot machine it is mine now the key for my slot machine um, a ring that I made out of a piece of stainless steel tubing this is kind of the uh, before and after that I made, oh gosh, 14 years ago, before and after, it's a, just a cut piece of a stainless steel tubing, which just happens to be my perfect ring size, and that's the ring I made out of it. And like I said, another half by five barrel rod, 
So I've got two of those, one that I carry in my left pocket, this I carry on my keychain. And I <coughs> excuse me. And then I have my razor knife that I use every day. This is the tinder pouch that my brother made me that kept well first it kept on snapping because he had snaps here and then he sent me a set of Chicago screws to put in there and they they loosened up and fell out so I can't pull it out right now but it's got an Altoids tin in there that's got charred punk wood inside which goes great with the, the flint and steel that I've got back here and then my normal car keys my uh, I carry a couple pens, markers, or a marker, a little tiny uh, flat screwdriver, notepad or scrap paper to write on. Them are always in my shirt pocket. And the last thing on the list is my wallet. I've got, I've always got some cash in there. Maybe not a lot, but it's, I mean, a lot of ones in there. I've got two of these, well, I was always known they to call them P38s, but I guess they're something else. Two can openers. And this is a Fresnel lens, which is a little wore out, kind of cracked a little here. I've had it for oh, 15 years, but it would still light a fire with the sun. That's a little dirty, but it would definitely still light a fire. So I have to look into replacing that soon, but still, that's a lot of stuff, and that is basically my everyday carry if you count my backpack and you know I might leave my backpack in the Jeep or at work or if I go to a store or something I'm not gonna carry it in a Walmart but it still it goes with me every day everywhere I go if I go to work or if I go to town the next town over to Lexington whatever that backpack goes with me so I go hope you guys like the display and uh whoa so i hope you guys like the display and leave me your comments tell me what you think i think i do all right plus with what i have in my jeep i think i'd be ready for a little bit of trouble 